Hello everybody, uh, this is Anna Rose White. We're here at Beehive Quilt Shop in Wellington, Kansas, and I wanted to give you guys a fun video uh, for some different ideas for Halloween quilt and project inspiration. And so we love Halloween at Beehive Quilt Shop. We just did a fun unboxing on our Facebook page where we showed you all this fun new fabric that we have, but we have some really fun fit patterns and pre-cuts, and we just wanted to give you a small uh, inspiration of what to do with Halloween fabric. So. I, I first of all, I have mesh right in front of me, but a lot of people make Project Annie bags, which are great, but there's also all kinds of different projects you can do. Um, my mom is our producer behind the camera, and I was wondering if maybe she could get us the cool project bag that Jan made that we've got on a rack um, back around the corner. And so, anyway, this mesh fabric is really fun to sew with, and there's some cool project ideas or pencil pouches or different things like that that you can make, but it's just a lot of fun. And so that's some that's some fun mesh. That so was kind of an Eleanor Burns moment to you know just toss some toss some mesh like that. But Spooky Time is a really cool fabric pattern, and it's 57 by 67. It's advanced beginner, but I think this is a great value of a pattern. It's really well designed. It has ghost bats, Halloween pumpkins, and cats and spiders. And I just think it's really fun. So if you're looking for whether you're trying to make pillows or you are going to make a quilt, um, whether you make it as a full sampler or not, it's totally up to you. But it uses lots of half yard cuts and quarter yard cuts. So I would, you know, when you're buying Halloween fabric, I would recommend you get half yard or collect fat quarters of things. Unless you know for sure it's going to be a dominant color. And then I would definitely get a yard. If you're going to do borders um, for... A lot of people for Halloween quilts, they don't make huge quilts, you make smaller lap quilts. And so if you're gonna do a smaller project and you're trying to do borders with Halloween fabric, I would recommend getting two yards of fabric because then you can get the length of fabric to be 72 inches and it'll be easier to work with directional fabric if you have that much to work with. So that's just um, kind of a fun tidbit. Well, I was just talking about the mesh. This is the cute project bag from By Annie. It's called the Peacekeeper pattern and it's just a front back pattern, really well explained, uses a 24 inch zipper and poly mesh, and it uses some of her soft and stable foam, and it uses three different fabrics that are fat quarters. And it's just a really fun project, but this of course is not in Halloween fabric, but this would be super cute to make themed project bags for your seasonal projects. And so that is the Peacekeeper pattern, and I'm just gonna again do it. Eleanor Burns moment right over there. So that was just lovely. And a bit more about some inspiration for Halloween projects. So this is Pumpkin Pie by The Pattern Basket and it's 50 by 66 and 3 fourths. And it uses two yards of background fabric, two yards for the border, which is just like I said, and a whole bunch of fat quarters or fat eighths to make these pumpkins. So you can get six orange ones and um, just assortments of other stuff for the pumpkin stems and the stars, but pumpkin pie is really fun. I love Cluck Cluck Sew a lot, and she has the pumpkins quilt, which is 58 by 72. It uses 10 fat quarters, three yards of fabric, and it's just a lot of fun. Suburbs is a, you know, a timeless pattern, and it has a whole variety of sizes you can make, a throw, a twin, a fuller, a queen, and I've seen this made in Halloween fabric where people have done the scan and cut to make cool silhouette images to go in that blank space. And of course you can do the black night sky. And I just think this would be a really fun Halloween quilt. So that is another idea for inspiration. Uh, another pattern that we love is this one here. And I just forgot the name all of a sudden. Pumpkins in a row. Pumpkins in a row. And so it is. it uses prairie points and it has it's adorable. So it uses a charm pack and some more fabric. So I would get a charm pack and a half yard background fabric. I think maybe a whole yard. I think it's just a half yard. Mm -hmm. Just a half yard. Isn't that great? So, you know, if you, but of course, you know, if you're doing background fabric, maybe you're going to make something bigger, get a yard and a charm pack. Um, but it is really fun and prairie points are a really cool way to do it. And we love the prairie point tool. It's a great tool to have. I, you know, we can never buy enough of that. And then Boo is really fun. So she's a sweet girl, um, Boo, and she's got a bow and I love her. So again, she has a throw quilt size 55 by 64, which is excellent. So, and then what, put your favorite? Oh, put your favorite fa fat quarters together. This one actually uses four and a quarter of background fabric. So make sure you get plenty of background fabric uh, for that project. And it does recommend 16 fat quarters 
to make boo and a variety of fat aids or just go ahead and get a fat quarter unless you want to go ahead and get a bundle and um, we'll show you some bundles here in a little bit but those were some of those fun quilt throw quilt ideas that would be great for halloween i'm a certified laura heine instructor and so this is one of my favorite wall hangings this is the witch from the teeny tiny group pattern number one and we have kits for sale and so you can find those on our website but they're really fun and they have over 40 different pieces of fabric i think that's inside of there for sure close to probably 50 but it's called the witch so type in the witch on our website and you'll find it it's 32 dollars, and you get all the fabric to make it um almost exactly like this the only difference is we sold out of first the first group and this one is even better than how i kitted this project so really fun um go ahead and grab one of those i think it takes anywhere from 8 to 12 hours to do a teeny tiny collage so go for it um, but it's a lot of fun great way to use your stash but if you are new to collaging i do think it is super fun to do a kit and it's also fun to do a kit even if you've done a lot of collages because as you know it takes a huge variety of fabric so speaking of fabric let's talk about bundles so this just happens to be midnight magic number two it's from moda and this is a fat eighth bundle and it's 53.99 but you can see you get a great variety of fabric of course it's perfectly folded from the warehouse which was really fun but midnight magic is a great grown-up collection of halloween fabrics and we think that they're just great so a lot of times if you are going to make scrappy projects you know fat eights are really great to have and just occasionally you may need a whole fat quarter so i love fat eights if you like scrappy things and if you like table runners and small projects those work great otherwise i would just encourage you to go ahead and get the fat quarter bundle because one most of the halloween projects you're making are for home decor or you're giving them away so treat yourself and get yourself a whole fat quarter bundle so you have the whole collection to work with this is a really fun one. Um, this is a solid fat quarter bundle, so don't forget about how great solids are for adding into a collection of Halloween stuff because um, one, they are a little bit cheaper, which is fun, but they also are great and we prefer Riley Blake confetti cottons work awesome. So this is a great Halloween bundle. And as you could tell, that would make a really darling quilt and it's just great. So that's really fun. Don't forget about toilet paper pumpkins. They're outstanding. You need one fat quarter and we should post, we should find that original video and post that on our YouTube channel as well. But uh, toilet paper pumpkins are great. You need one fat quarter to do an ex excellent one. Toilet paper rolls do keep getting bigger. So maybe you're gonna need half yards, but it is a really fun project. Grunge fabric, they don't have a Halloween fat quarter bundle right now, but they do have a fall collection. And so if you got the fall collection and added more blacks and grays, which they do have a bundle for that, there you go. There's a Halloween fabric bundle and you're getting to use grunge, which is timeless. Kimberbell has some great patterns. I happen to have her cute little bench pillow here, but they have some great Halloween themed ones or fall. So they can make a really fun piece of home decor. So those are really great. And one of my favorite books for Halloween is Strabology 2's new book. And the front cover, I love it even more because it is a quilt called Wanda, which is fun. And we were just showing you Midnight Magic fabric right there, but Wanda is really great. And it shows you how to make uh, this fun, scrappy, crazy quilt using the Strabology ruler, which we call our best friend at Beehive Quilt Shop. You can find those on our website. Uh, we teach classes and show people demos all the time. So if you're ever here at Beehive Quilt Shop, just ask for a Stripology demo and any of us would be happy to show you because they're great fun. We also have a, some of these great table runner kits from Riley Blake Fabrics. And this makes a cute spooky um, piece and it's all pieced with a little bit of applique. And so it's a perfect way to experiment with applique because you know, most jack-o'-lanterns are perfect, so you don't have to worry about having perfect eyeballs um, in your jack-o'-lantern, but that's a fun project, and it's a collectible box that's a little bit magnetic, so that's really cool too. And there's a lot of times there are Halloween panels that are out there, and uh, they can make fun projects or small things. This is a collection that's called The Spirit of Halloween, and so that is another fun thing where you can definitely make a small quilt. You can imagine patchwork with this, sashing them. You could make these the inside of a star and just put star points on there. Uh, really fun ideas. Uh, you could even make a quillow and have that as the inside of the quillow. So that is really fun. We also have AccuQuilt dies, and uh, these Halloween dies can all go through anywhere from the Go Baby to the Go Big Electric, um, or even the Studio Cutter if you have one. But 
Uh, AccuQuilt has a free pattern idea on the back and inside of every die. And so you don't have to worry about um, going home and looking for inspiration because it's just right there. And of course, if you have a curated stash, you can just go to your stash and start cutting it up. And this one I think is really fun. And sometimes, you know, for seasonal projects, it's not something where you want to make a huge sampler or a busy collection. And so sometimes you just need a simple quilt. And I thought that really was a great idea for a simple, fun Halloween quilt that you can do out of patchwork. So that's really cool. On a roll again, this is a brand new book as of um, when we filmed this um, showcase of Halloween inspiration. And I wanted to show you this quilt, which is called Jelly Cats. And this would be super fun if it was out of Halloween fabric. So Jelly Cats is on a roll again. You should grab that book. It's 14 creative projects from um, Jelly Rolls. National Jelly Roll Day is a great time right before Halloween. And so it'd be a great time to you could finish those up. Another cool book that this one's been out for a while, but Simple Quilts 123 is really cool. And this pattern right here is a great idea for a big, busy Halloween print and then put a fun piano keyboard around it. So you can get those instructions right here in Simple Quilts and it's as long as with a whole bunch of other fun ideas. And that was written by one of our favorite fabrics, me and my yes. sisters. Yes, and mm -hmm. they have a cool Christmas line out this year, which is I'm very excited about. Mm -hmm. So that's fun. Oh, and this is one of my favorites. I call this the Aunt Pat Potholder, and it is, um, we have the great pattern for this, but it, is it under, is it under a potholder? I think it's, I think if you type potholder, bums, it's in there. Uh, this fabric is out of print, but it's a great way to remember um, when you buy seasonal projects. I know for non-quilters and even quilters like us, I am thrilled anytime I get a potholder because I love making quilts, but I love receiving gifts like this and the um, bowl koozies, 10 minute table runners. Those are all really fun ideas for seasonal fabric. And we are a brother dealership here in Wellington, Kansas, and we uh, serve a great area and which is fun. We love, I'm talking about brother and machine embroidery, but we're a Kimberbell certified shop. We do events and sell fabric and she has a new collection out that's called Candy Corn Quilt Shop. This is another fun project and then she has, it's called the Twilight Bench Pillow. And we have fabric kits, embellishment kits, and the pattern available. And those are a really fun project are the Kimberbell Bench Pillows. So don't forget about those. And uh, we, of course, of our last thing, I'm gonna have mom, who's our fabric fairy, hand me this beautiful quilt over here. But we have an amazing panel quilt is what we've called it. And it's right here, it's a haunted house quilt kit. It's $79.95 and we have the instructions are in here, but we kind of wrote our own pattern for the, um, what was it called? You are my sunshine quilt. And then uh, I don't hope they can see the inside of the panel. I wanna see if they can, but this is the haunted house panel and it's from Riley Blake. It's very cool and spooky. We quilted this on our long arm with spiderweb thread. This quilt was pieced by Heather um, Gamash and it's just awesome. It uses a lot of speckled fabric for the sashing and 108 inch wide back blossom fabric. And we quilted it with purple glide thread, um, but it is a perfect amount of creepy, spooky words. It's just a really fun quilt and it makes a great throw. And we wrote the instructions where if you put the optional borders around it, it will make a queen size quilt but the top of it will cover a queen size mattress without a drop. So we think it is an amazing panel quilt and it's a great kit at a great price. So we hope that you um, may check that out if you're looking for a Halloween project. So thanks for watching this showcase of ideas and inspiration for Halloween fabric. And you can always look to beehivequiltshop.com or our Facebook page for more inspiration and fun projects.